Question 18. The diagram shows a solid hemisphere. We've been given that the volume of the hemisphere is 250 over 3 pi. We need to work out the exact total surface area of the hemisphere. In order to do that, we're going to need to know the radius, and we can work out this from the, uh, that from here. So, 250 over 3 pi is equal to the volume of the hemisphere. If the volume of the sphere is 4 thirds of pi r cubed, the volume of a hemisphere is half of that, which is 2 thirds pi r cubed. A few things we can cancel here immediately. We've got a division by 3 on both sides, we can cancel that, and we can cancel pi on both sides, which leaves us with 250 equals 2 r cubed. Let's divide by 2. So we have 125 equals r cubed, and then we've just got to take the cube root to find r. On the right hand side we have r, and the cube root of 120 is 5. So we know the radius is 5. From here we can find the surface area. We know that the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. So the surface area of the hemisphere, at least the curved surface area, is 2 pi r squared. We've also got this circle on the top, and we know that the area of a circle is pi r squared. So that's 3 pi r squared in total. And we'll substitute r for the radius that we worked out. That's 3 pi times 5 squared, 75 pi. We've been told to give our answer as a multiple of pi, so we'll leave it at that.